the people that Satan fears. Mark 16 verse 17 and 18 And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. The truth is, is that the devil is powerful. I am not saying that to glorify the devil in any way, form or fashion. But that is the truth. The devil is a being with a tremendous amount of power. He has a whole demonic army of evil spirits that work under his authority. There are powers, there are rulers of the darkness of this world, and they all operate under him. All the spiritual wickedness in high places falls under him. He is a powerful being. Look at what he did when he tempted Jesus. Matthew 4 verse 8 to 10 Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God, and serve him only. Look at what he did. He showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor, and said, All this I will give you. He could not say this if the kingdoms of this world were not his to give. The devil is a powerful creature with a tremendous amount of resources at his disposal, and if you try to fight him in your own power and in your own strength without the covering of the Lord God Almighty on you, he will cover you in red tape and destroy every single aspect of your life before your eyes. He will attack you in your personal life, and then he will attack you in your wealth, and then attack you in your health. He will go after every single thing you hold near and dear to you. Look at what he did to Job in one day. He took out all of his children in one day. He took out all of his wealth on that same day. He took away his health on that same day. The devil can destroy your life to the point that you won't even know right from left. The truth is, the devil is not afraid of human beings, but he is afraid of the almighty creator God Almighty. That eternal being that every demon of hell knows, that eternal almighty being that every demon of hell fears, God Almighty, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of Heaven and Earth. And the devil fears those people who can pray and cry out to God. The devil isn't afraid of you, or your last name, or your wealth. He is afraid of you when you pray and call on God. There are people that when they open their mouths to pray, the devil runs. There are people that the devil thinks twice about attacking because he knows what he is in for. These are the people that can call upon the name of the Lord. Who are these people? Who are these people that the devil is afraid of? They are those who don't compromise on the word of God. These people don't go back on the word of God. When God says it is a they take it like that and not twist it to be Z. When God says it is red, they don't say it is pink. They don't go below God's standard. They don't reduce the quality of the Word of God. They make the Word of God the standard. They use the Word of God as their daily guide. The Word of God to these people is like a manual guide. They use it to get directions. They don't follow the world or allow society to affect their moral compass. 
Their attitude of right and wrong is molded by the unchanging Word of God. They accept the Word of God just the way it is. They take the Word of God to be an instruction on how to live the perfect life that God wants them to live. They don't go outside the Word of God just to satisfy themselves. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 and 17 All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. People who understand that the Word of God should not be twisted and must be followed to the letter are those who have the power of God in them. When the devil sees that he cannot deceive you, he cannot make you fall into lies, he will be afraid of you. When the devil sees that your life is completely reliant on the Lord God Almighty, he will be afraid of you. Satan wants you to be self-reliant. The reason being is self-reliant people never call on God or only call on God as a last resort. But there are those who seek the face of the Lord when things are going good and when things are going bad. There are those who call on the Lord regardless of whatever situation they find themselves in. The devil fears those who are persuaded that they are loved by God. Romans 8 verse 38 and 39 For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. According to Jesus, there is only one thing that you must do to have this victory over the devil and that is, you must live and believe in Him. When we are talking about living in Christ, it means you must accept everything that He gives you. You must take all His instructions. You must follow His steps. You must wash and follow Him. Jesus said this same thing in John 15 verse 4 that, Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. The fruit that you will bring forth when you are in Christ is the fruit of life. You cannot live if you are not living in Him. When you abide in Christ, there is no way you will not believe Him. You will start to do the things He asks you to do. You will start to follow His steps. When you believe in Christ, it means you believe He died and defeated death, and He has the victory over death. If you accept this and believe it, you will be given that victory too, and you will not face death. Are you living in Christ? Do you believe in Him and do the things He commanded you to do? You cannot say you love Christ and refuse to do the things He has asked you to do. If you do not love Him, you will not do the things He asks you, and you will not have the access to the victory. You have to believe in Christ. You have to obey Christ. That is the only way you can be safe from death. That is the only way you can avoid the impending destruction that will come through sin. John 11 verse 26 And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Psalm 1 verse 1 to 3 Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth, 
in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper.